Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another Minecraft discussion here in the woods. Again, burnt sienna. It's the, it's the color of November. Yeah, it's in the, my, my bestie from St. Mike's talks about that a lot at this time of year with the Crayola box and that one crayon, crayon called burnt sienna. It explains, uh, yeah, it just explains November. Yes, so I got a little bit of residue there left from a dress-up thing I did. Okay. So, my name is Kimberly Quinn, and I'm really, really pumped to talk about giving yourself permission to feel. You know, and that's true every single day, uh, but though with the holidays upon us, we really just need to be okay with how we're feeling. It's just like an additional reason to be okay with how we're feeling, right? So, uh, I'm inspired today by Abraham Hicks. I listen to her a lot when I'm on the exercise bike uh, downstairs in our house. And yeah, and so she was talking about it. It actually made me laugh. So, you know, picturing, just picture this, like a daycare pickup situation where the one and a half year old is just picked up by her dad and she's strapped into a car seat and she's saying, God, this sucks. You know, I have no voice. I have no choice. My diaper's wet because somebody was getting off their shift and dad was late. And nobody changed my diaper. So now I'm strapped in this car seat can hardly move, bundled up in a, in a, in a fleece, you know, little onesie suit. I'm sitting in wet and dad's clearly irritated that he had to pick me up because he shares it with mom and it was his day and it landed on, happened to land on a day. It was an important board meeting and he had to cut out early and his CEO was there. So he's clearly irritated. And so that's why I'm screaming right now. Okay. And it's just such a, and, and so, because that feeling of powerlessness that's something of power, powerlessness. We have moments, even in our 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and, and later, of feeling like a toddler strapped into a car seat, just powerless. This just whole thing just sucks, right? So that can that can be true at any time in the year, obviously, but especially in the holidays, because I think the holidays, we are thrown together with lots of other human people that um, most often who we're related to. And it feels like we have no voice or choice and that like we're trapped in a in a car seat. And... Um, it's important to just give yourself permission to feel. Give yourself permission to feel. If you don't want to be there, you don't want to be there. Although you might want to rethink that because life is short. And if you don't want to be there, you're giving off energy that everybody knows you don't want to be there. Even if you don't actually say it. Um, but, you know, but living for other people's approval is just not the way to roll, usually. You know, or really ever. Uh, that obviously gets complicated. You know, you might... There might be that one person just drives you nuts, you know, pontificating all over the place about how she's so successful, blah, 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 blah. And, and, but, but then you really, really adore your grandmother, and it's ru running through your head, you know, how many more of these might I have, and so it gets a little complicated, but there's a shade of gray there, too, you can stay for part of something, not the whole thing, you can slide in for dessert, or come up with something creative to, you know, just, you know, limit it, right, but the whole thing is not about that, because it's, we could go on and on with different holiday scenarios, you know, because there's so, there are so many, but the point is to give yourself permission to feel. If you feel this way or that way, if you know you feel like you don't want to be there, you feel angry, like the little kid in the in the uh, the little one and a half year old in the car seat. Just acknowledge you're angry. You know, anger is better than powerlessness because we want it. We really want to give ourselves permission permission to feel. And then the second thing is we want to reach for feeling better. And obviously, it's if we can feel joyful which has an, an, you know, sort of an element of spontaneity and impulse to it. If you can feel joyful, that's, that's reaching for the stars and grabbing the star and just circling around the star and riding, riding that, you know, riding that star all over the universe. That's just fantastic. But even but if you're coming from a situation of powerlessness, like the child in the car seat, um, really anything is, is better than that. Ex you know, with the main, with the exception of, um, you know, shame is super toxic, but they may also go together. But even if you kind of rise up to pissed, that's better than powerless. The thing is, we, we tend to, you know, let you know kids grow up, we send them out into the world, and they, they learn pretty quickly that it's not okay to express anger, and that's just crazy. I mean, you feel how you feel. What's, what, what matters is how we act on it. That's what matters. But we've got, to, we've got to feel angry if we feel angry, and again, it's better than feeling powerless. So, because anger has a job, and that job is to, the, 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 anger is about letting us, or we become aware of, basically somebody stepping on our toes, or somebody's violated us, and on the spectrum, it's not always here, like, 
assault. It can be here, like they said something that went against our political values, our, our sorry, views, our, our values in general, our religious views, or, or maybe said something against, uh, you know, somebody you care about. Maybe it isn't you, but they said something, you know, not okay about somebody who's different in whatever way, whatever, whatever. That's, I hope you're pissed. You know, or somebody, you know, cheated on your best friend. Even though it's not you, I would hope you're pissed because you care about them. So, I mean, anger has a job. And it says, back the you-know-what up. Uh, boundary, okay? And then hopefully after that, you can come into a place of feeling better. Feeling better. It doesn't have to always be straight from, you know, way a very low vibe, like despair to joy. There's a whole middle, okay? There's a whole middle. And the point is to give yourself permission. This is how I feel. This is how I feel. I'm feeling a little anxious today. Okay. Well, okay. Welcome to the human race. People feel anxious. You know, I'm feeling pissed off today. I'm just explore why. So you can feel and then let it go. But the whole point is, is that <clears throat> feelings can't be right or wrong. They just are. And so many times we shame ourselves over how we feel. And that's just nuts. It's how we act on the feelings that matters. Remember, right? We just feel how we feel. So that's also when we say... It sounds very 80s, but it's also very true. It's okay to not be okay. If you're in a funk today, you're in a funk. And you can, you can definitely, there's definitely some strategies to work to getting out of the funk. But just acknowledging that maybe you didn't wake up with a high vibe. Okay, well, we can work at changing that. And then just remember the whole middle and climbing up and maybe trying to bring your mind to a place, remembering something happy, being like, wow, okay, thoughts come first and feelings come second. Why am I feeling like I'm swimming in sludge today. Okay, well, maybe I've maybe I've launched a bunch of thought rockets that, you know, without really controlling them and letting them all these thought rockets go off on their own about that something with so and so who might say this at Christmas or Hanukkah. Nah, 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 nah. And I might maybe I launched a bunch of, of 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 thought rockets that had me in a circular thinking pattern of things that are already long since over. And maybe that's why I'm all pissed off, even though I have this quiet day to work remotely or to just be off and I'm in my house and it's just wonderful yet I but yet I'm I'm stuck in this emotion it's because and explore that that's it but just give no matter what give yourself permission to feel because there's something called secondary emotions which is what we try to stay away from if we can help it and that's feeling badly about feeling badly so if it's not enough to feel anxiety then we have to feel badly that we feel anxious you know, if it's, you know, like, oh, there goes my anxiety again. Man, that just brought down the ship. That just pissed somebody off. Or there goes my depression, and that just seems to, you know, get in the way of my relationship. So it's not enough to feel depressed. Now you got to feel badly about being depressed. So this is why, one of the reasons why it's so important to give yourself permission to feel and get out of that place, definitely of feeling powerless. No, we don't want to be a victim ever. We want to shift that the word of that to to um, survive or whether it's a huge big surviving like assault or it's just surviving a situation that was hard for you uh, at Thanksgiving and you handled it with grace and class and you took the high road then man yeah you survived it you weren't you didn't you didn't let yourself slide into victim mode which is giving up your giving up your your, your personal power and the silver platter so give yourself something for that give yourself something for that okay so awesome give yourself permission to feel this is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the beautiful burnt Sienna woods. Have a mindful day.